what's going on guys this is red sun welcome back to another video and today i'm just here to talk about um star wars jedi fallen order my fears and expectations for the game and all of that good stuff now originally i was going to do like a podcast type of thing and all that that stuff but i'm gonna kind of wait on that but we're still gonna talk about i'm still wanting to talk about fallen order in this podcast sort of thing I probably want to get that started up like next week since I have spring break and all that and I have more time, you know, set things up kind of and obviously uh, some of the other uh, people that I want in there will probably also have time as well. So yeah, I might also, you know, do a couple other things. I'll get into more detail about the whole podcast thing in another stream or something eventually, but um, yeah, without further ado, I'm just going to, you know, just talk about following order. I do have a list of things here that I do uh, want to mention and talk about because um, there's a lot to talk about there's a for me anyway especially as a Star Wars fan uh, more so than just a game fan or whatever fan you want to call um, but yeah all, I mean all also I do want to also mention that uh, I just want to get like, a discussion going so if you some of if anyone that watches this video has a problem with what I want or one I want to see or something, then you know, let's just talk about it. Let's just not let's not get into a fight or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, no. Without further ado, uh, yeah. So I'm also I'm also just gonna go ahead and pull up uh, this here. Uh, so yeah, like the first thing I also want to talk about is how you know Jedi Fallen Order is just going to be at Star Wars Celebration in Chicago. Unfortunately, I won't be able to go. But hopefully, we'll be able to see some stuff, some cool stuff, like an actual trailer, and posters, and cool things. I don't, like, I hope it's not like EA Play, where they just talk about it, and then just don't show anything. You know, a poster of a lightsaber would have been nice, to show that, yeah, this is a Jedi game, you know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, no, I hope there's something. And I hope they talk about. I mean, I'm I'm fine with them talking about obviously just about stuff as well. Hope they confirm a couple things that like we've been wondering about. Like especially for me personally, like I'll get into what I want to talk about, what I mean later, um after. But you know, I also do want to mention like Chris Avalon's tweet here or anything or and as well as the person's tweet. Um, Obviously, I'm just going to read it off here. What games are you writing for currently besides Die Light 2? And then he responds, I can't say 100% because of NDA S's, but the ones I can say, I just finished up work on Jedi Fallen Order, and beyond that, there's another big bomb dropping in a month, er, I mean, maybe. <laughs> so, yeah. He finished up on Jedi Fallen Order. Now, obviously, I know you guys have seen all of the videos probably already, but Chris Avalon is obviously the KOTOR 2 writer. The Knights of the Old Republic 2 and th yeah that gives me a little bit of or a lot more hope than I anticipated because Knights of the Old Republic 2 was just so was so more cooler or well it obviously advanced off of Knights of the Old Republic 1 KOTOR 1 and yeah that, I mean KOTOR I mean everyone loves KOTOR I'm still disappointed about EA's decision I'm not making a KOTOR 3 but you know KOTOR amazing <laughs> but uh yeah, also, I do want to also pull up the tweet, or not the tweet, the leak here to Reddit, just to get all this stuff out of the way, because I'm just going to expand off of this here. Uh, if you guys remember the Reddit leak uh, from a while ago that was, it wasn't some info that went to this uh, marketing presentation, but it was someone there and some info picked up on it. Um... But yeah, if you guys want to, avo to avoid spoilers, I will just leave it right here. Spoiler warning. Warning, in case you don't want to get spoiled about anything yet. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, this leak, I've already seen the leak, but I'm just going to read it off here again. I'm just uh, kind of disappointed. I mean, sure, it might not be, like, the end of the world type of, type of thing, but I just... I was expecting, I feel like there could have been more done to this game if it took, well, okay, well, let's just say, let's just read it. Uh, it takes, the leak goes on to say that this game takes place five years after Revenge of the Sith and follows the main character whose name is Cal. Uh, he's a Padawan that survived the efforts to kill all the remaining Jedi, uh, not a ton of gameplay info, 
But the other storylines are that he had a mentor figure who was a woman named uh, Ceres or Crees or Ceres something. I don't <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, the only the only thing I would remember is them ta talking about other characters they would come across from some of the comics. They mentioned the ninth sister and the second sister. Something about Inquisitors. I, I wish I could remember more about this. They showed a ton of artwork. And then, yeah, then it goes to talk about Mandalorian, Episode 9. Nine. We could probably talk about that in another video, or in the podcast, you know, whatever. Uh, but yeah, um, branching off of all of these ideas, I'm just going to go ahead and straight into, like, some of the expectations that I've wanted, or, fe or now fears or something. It's just, I'm just, I'm really bummed out about some of the stuff. Like, the game, if this game really does take place five years after... That's going to mean we're going to see Stormtroopers and TIE Fighters and Star Destroyers now. Um, some of you guys are probably like, wait, whoa, 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 what do you mean clones are going to be in here, right? Well, um, and, and and then maybe some of you are probably also going to be like, uh, um, whoa, five years after, that's that's pretty right after Revenge of the Sith, or at least close enough. No, I, I, I mean, I don't know, I... I, I don't believe that necessarily because um, in the book Lords of the Sith, that book takes place five years after Revenge of the Sith. It has stormtroopers, star destroyers, and like modern day Imperial shuttles, all that stuff. And I mean, sure, there was also a clone in that book, but it was a royal guard. It wasn't an a there weren't actual like clone soldiers with phase two armor running around. Uh, fighting off the res the resistance movement on Ryloth, and I'm just uh, it was just I don't that book is one of the more cooler books, but it's just if this game does take place five years after, I'm just not gonna be too keen about it. It's just I I I honestly just I don't necessarily like games like this. If it says right after Revenge of the Sith, I see that as literally like a day or even seconds after Order 66 is executed. Okay, I want to see clone troopers, alright? I want to see V-Wings, ARC-170s, Venator Destroyers, along with the current Imperial stuff that is Darth Vader, the Emperor, and the Inquisitors. Like, that, and the trends, and I, we could even see the transition between the clones to Stormtroopers, V-Wings to TIE Fighters, Venators to actual Imperial Star Destroyers. Like, we could see that. I like that. I want this stuff to take time. If literally this game tells me and shoves it in my face that, oh, the clones got their stormtrooper armor in about a day, how the hell can you give the entire grand army of the Republic five million stormtrooper outfits all at once? Like, how long have you been developing this armor? Like, I swear to, I swear, <laughs> the, um, what the Phase Two armor was only in service for about half half a year. Or like half of the half of the years in the Clone Wars. So what? What the heck, man? <laughs> but yeah, no. It's just like I said. I just I really hope to see. I mean, and also like the types of clones that I want to see. I want to see like the clone assassins return again. It's those guys from Revenge of the Sith that take out Jedi. Uh, you, if you uh, fight them as Obi Wan, you go back to the temple. We can see the 501st again. Some regular white phase two clone troopers, just to you know, it's because they're you know, I would want to say they're called, or quote unquote, Republic stormtroopers, if that makes sense, or Imperial clone troopers, whatever you want to call them. And then we could also see like the Coruscant Guard again, at least if we go to Coruscant or if we go to any of these other planets where the Empire is just uh, uh, having a huge occupation on. Yeah, no, we could like see some city, some other city planets that aren't Coruscant, and see some Coruscant Guard troopers there or something. Or we can see an Inquisitor being governed by one of them, which I'll also mention the Inquisitor troopers. I'll get to those guys in a second, but yeah, um, yeah, no, the re just quick synopsis. I I just I don't want to see stormtrooper stuff. And also, here's another thing: we've seen stormtroopers for over forty years in this world. How many times have you seen clone troopers? Or how many years have you seen clone troopers? You know what I mean, like. I think uh, I don't I don't know the math right now, but I feel like we've had like at least over 10 to 12, 15 years of clones. We haven't had enough clone troopers yet, or clone trooper stories yet. I feel, or something like that. 
we've had over 40 years of stormtroopers. Like, you know what? Like, you guys, I hope you guys understand what I'm go where I'm going. And obviously, some other of us passionate people that want this stuff too will obviously know what I'm talking about as well. Uh, but yeah, let's also move on to like the other stuff. Let's stop droning about the clones and Republic stuff, pre-empire and pre-empire stuff. Like we and like for this game, we could see like Vader. Like I said, the Vader Inquisitors and slash Dark Jedi, because I put that there. Because the Inquisitors are essentially Dark Jedi, they're not Sith. And also Inquisitor clone troopers. Now, obviously, if you guys read the Darth Vader comics, the Inquisitor clones, the Inquisitor troopers are basically the clones, elite force, elite clones or whatever, elite commandos that are governing or governing or guarding, should I say, uh, the Inquisitors when they're on their missions. And I really like those clones. I mean, hell, that's my profile picture. It's literally an airborne trooper that's all decked out in black armor with a cool silver visor and red pauld and red stormtrooper pauld. No, yeah, pauldrons. Stormtrooper. Obviously, I said stormtrooper pauldrons because that's what they have. Um, I mean, of course, they have probably some type of armor that's already been developed because pauldrons are probably more easier than stormtrooper armor. But anyways, I, dig I digress. I hope we see a lot of these elements. I hope the Inquisitors are used well. I hope they aren't like just these cheap vil these cheap like soldier or not soldiers but like cheap enemies like the freaking regular infantry in Battlefront 2. Like I I mean I kind of agree with the fact the fact let's go to Battlefront 2 for a second. I kind of agree with the fact that in the campaign we just didn't we didn't fight a lot of enemies. We only fought regular infantry and bugs. <laughs> What? Like, I don't know. But yeah, no, I hope the Inquisitors are an actual, like, boss. Like, I, f I feel like it's been a long time since I've had a difficult, like, I've had a game be a difficult with, like, some enemies. Like, in Jedi, and also, let's also talk about, like, Jedi Academy with some of this stuff. Like, and Republic Commando, like, those are, like, a lot of stuff you could add. Which, also, with those games and other things, I'll get to those later. I know I keep saying a lot of this stuff, but I digress. <laughs> but yeah, no, like, and we could, like, to those that don't read the Vader comics, like, we can go into, like, Vader's psyche and see what, and have, like, a mission, maybe a mission where Vader's, like, just, you know, he says, in it, you're in his mind, and you're just, like, there, like, seeing everything that's going on in his, that has going on in his life. It's like the Vader comic on Mustafar. Or it's like the one Vader issue on Mustafar, where Anakin, or at least the embodiment of Anakin that is Darth Vader, is just seen through his past, and then it's just like, you know, he realizes, he keeps realizing that he just lost everything. And then like the Inquisitors, we could get some character development there, like how, how they became Inquisitors. Like, some Inquisitors are literally Jedi that f have fallen, and we could pro maybe we could even see Barriss Afi in Jedi Fallen Order. I actually, I remember, I don't remember where, I probably, I'll probably find it later. But I remember Barriss being a part of this game somehow, or at least someone mentioned that. Um, I'm actually pretty cool with that. I mean, I feel like, since that, um... Um, since that, uh, Seventh Sister in Rebels was the same species as Barris, I thought that was, I mean, and many others too, thought that was gonna be Barris. but of course Dave Filoni did shut that theory down and said that, like, it wouldn't fit the character of Barris. which now, if Barris is involved as an Inquisitor in this game, I just, I, I don't understand why, because, you know, Dave Filoni said it wouldn't fit the character in Rebels to bring an Inquisitor, but if she becomes an Inquisitor in Fallen Order, I'm just gonna be like sitting there like, eh, <laughs> like you know, I, I like I don't I don't get it, but yeah, no, like and we could like, and maybe we can like, and even well, okay, yeah, slow down. <laughs> we we could probably like be in a mission with Darth Vader to Mon Cal. Like we could, like I know Battlefront Two. Battlefront Two had the had like the most greatest fan service I've seen in a game because like we literally seen gone into levels where they're literally events in the comics like the Naboo mission on Battlefront 2 campaign that was in Shattered Ga that was in the Shattered Empire comics and I thought that was cool that they tied that stuff together it just makes the more it just makes the universe more connected now and I will go back to the clone troopers now, and also connecting that with Vader and the Inquisitors, whatever. 
if we have prequel elements tied in with this and not just original trilogy elements, and this is where this non-Stormtrooper part comes in as well, it makes the universe way bigger and in this game. Like, the universe is so vast that we could probably go to anywhere we wanted, but go to the places that we know is more important to go to than others or whatever, you know? If we just have this game strictly to the original trilogy, have just this Jedi running from stormtroopers and star destroyers, it makes the universe way smaller because it seems like this game was made back in like 1978 or something, or whatever, or 77, whenever the first movie came out. Now, obviously, with all this modern stuff, they could do like they did with The Force Unleashed, where that game was set in the original trilogy, but added a bunch of a bunch of prequel elements. And that, I mean, that's what I love about The Force Unleashed is like you know it has Star Killer as a new, it's a new character, uh, and you know other new characters as well. But it has Darth Vader in it. It has some references to the prequels, like you go to Felucia, and you go to Kashyyyk. And even on Felucia, I don't even know if people even re realize this when they're playing the games. But I just, I, I don't know why people don't pick up on this, especially if they're hardcore fans. There's literally, there's clone trooper armor everywhere on Felucia, as well as the Jedi Temple if you played that DLC mission. Like, oh man. Like, there's a, like, like that's, I mean, again, that's why I love the Force Unleashed. If Fallen Order was like the Force Unleashed, but better in many ways... Like that, oh, dude, I'd be gassed. I'd be, um, I'd be amazed. But you know, we're gonna have to wait and see. Now, speaking, you know, of Force Unleashed and stuff, they also did conf or kind of confirm back then. I don't remember where it is or what or what right now. But uh, like I, like I said before, but um, this game is kind of gonna be similar to the Force Unleashed on like, uh, but uh. It's going to be un uh, similar to the Force Unleashed, except with all the crazy Force powers and stuff, which I'm fine. It's a Padawan. A Padawan isn't going to learn so many Force abilities all in one go in like three levels. That's, that's not That's not how the Force works. But, um, yeah, no, and I'm also fine. Let's also talk about like the mechanics and stuff with lightsabers and all that. If this game was very similar to Jedi Academy and the Force Unleashed, having that sense of control okay keyword control you know how in jedi academy you were able to swing the light like if you literally sidestep to the left the lightsaber would go left if you sidestep to the right the lightsaber would go right go forward the lightsaber goes down down even if you back up it goes it still goes down but it keep it keeps moving in the direction that you want it to go if you want to do if you're doing like a sidestep like right or left and then diagonal left or something like that the lightsaber will travel left and then diagonal down like that, that like that's cool that's amazing like come on like who doesn't want this type of stuff man hashtag old star wars games are better than today's Star Wars games <laughs> anyways yeah that's kind of what i want and also if there's anything a jedi game needs it is lightsaber dismemberment okay Hey, I don't understand why more of these movies don't have this, or even shows like Rebels. Rebels clearly um, implied that when some people got cut with lightsabers, they literally lost their heads and limbs. But yet, when we look at back at Episode Three and Episode Two, and in Jedi Academy, you literally saw limbs and heads and everything fly off like. Like, you have all this stuff back in the old days, and now you're just, like, just dumbing that down back to where it was, back to where it wasn't. Like, what? <laughs> like, I don't, I mean, I don't get it. It's just, it's so crazy to think about. Like, I just, it's, yeah, no, it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, but yeah, no. And even, I mean, uh, hell, like, go, go back to episode 8. That, that movie had... A freaking Praetorian guard's head get chopped off. Okay, I honestly went nuts in my mind when I saw that. When I saw that, I was at least super proud for that scene because a freaking like an actual person got got mutilated. Like, how 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 many times have you seen that? You've only seen that with clones and droids and Jedi game, Jedi Academy and all that other stuff. Like, dang, 
I mean, even back in the Dark Forces, Jedi Knight, uh, and Mysteries of the Sith days, like, they still, ha they still managed to pull off the limb dismemberment, and that was, like, old school type of game, like, oh man, like, you gotta be kidding me, <laughs> but yeah, there's, there's just a lot I wanna, we can obviously talk about more of this, but I am also just going to go, go ahead and get back, uh, to the final part of this, or talk about the final part of this video. And I have mentioned this a couple times to people, and in streams, I'm pretty sure everyone, or, yeah, no, well, obviously, whatever. But, um, everyone I know pretty much has liked this kind of idea that I have for this game. And this is, uh, this is going to be, like, my little vision, my little fan fiction for Fallen Order, so. Strap up, and, uh, yeah, here we go. So, yeah, this game could take, obviously, well, I want this game to take place literally on 19 BBY where the Clone Wars is still raging, Order 66 hasn't launched yet, but it will in about, like, maybe in a day or, or even hours or minutes away. Um, you could have the Jedi be at, on a Clone Wars battle fighting battle droids, or you can have them, like, be in the Jedi Temple once Order 66 is enacted. But I have more to say about the um, Jedi Temple, but let's just get the Clone Wars battle concept out of the way first. So you can have the Jedi... Battling droids as a cutscene, even with his master too, his or her master, um, with the clones running around, whatever. Um, you can, and while you're doing fighting the battle droids, and it gets away from the cutscene or it starts to cut away to the actual gameplay, it can teach you how to swing the lightsaber, how to run, how to jump, how to do all these crazy force force techniques, not powers. Key, uh, key, uh, the wording. Um. <laughs> Like yeah, no, you like you have like the Jedi killing battle droids, like B ones, B twos, droidicas, like just any concept. Um, and yeah, then then it goes from there. You know, typical Order sixty six run away. Um, but the Jedi Temple, I have something more unique. So Jedi Temple, you are quiet. You are just laying in your bed, you're sitting there, quiet, and then you just wake up. You're startled. Uh, um, or no, you have a vision. You have a vision of darkness, right? Maybe. It depends on what happens, obviously. But, obviously. And then, it just explodes. Like, the temple, like, you hear explosions, blaster fire, everything. You just, it, it just goes, like, crazy. And then you just, you just wake up, you just hear, like, alarms or whatever. Everything go off, blaster bolts going off, explosions, like I said. And then the paddle one just wakes up. Then, he grabs his cloak. Since he's still somewhat in this Jedi robe, gear, whatever, he grabs a cloak, he grabs his lightsaber that he's already made, and just opens the door and he tries to check things out. Now obviously he's gonna see clones marching, like shooting up the Jedi, the Jedi, like, and he's confused, like he doesn't know why. Like he realizes that now he sees the clones, he's like, oh crap, like why are these guys shooting at us? These are our friends, these are our people that we fought beside for years, like, how? And then obviously now a clone turns to whatever is left or right, whatever the direction is, and he sees the Jedi. And then he reports back to command or whoever's in charge of whatever squad's he in, he, squad he's in. And then, yeah, they chase the Jedi, he runs, it's just a little small little cutscene. And then it cuts to the mechanics part. You see all these clones that have surrounded you now. You can even fight clone assassins that, since they were part of the Jedi Temple and will canonize them again. Or, well, canonize them. Not again. Uh, <laughs> um, he'll, he'll, like, and it'll, it'll teach you the mechanics, how to, like I said before, how to swing a lightsaber, how to do force techniques. It'll show you how to actually beat the, Im the Imperials from getting you, the clones. And then, yeah, he, he just goes ham. He kills the clones. He just, he mut you see the mutilation. You freaking, like, head chopping, heads being chopped off. Freaking, like, limbs flying. Like, come on, man. Like, who doesn't want that? Anyways, <laughs> you run away. You run away some more. You keep fighting clones. And that's just pretty much the premise of the level is just escaping at this point. Then, you go to the hangar, or at least one of the hangars that are similar to the one seen in Revenge of the Sith, uh, where Bail Organa was. Um, you go and try to find a ship. Uh, and it could, honestly could be any ship. Obviously, there were many types of ships in the Jedi Temple at the time. So you could you could take an ARC-170, a V-Wing, an Ada, 
Ada Interceptor Jedi Fighter could take a Delta 7. I know those were still in service, especially when Plo Koon used it in Revenge of the Sith. Um, like, you could take anything. It doesn't matter which ship. But for for this sake, for this normal normal story's sake, he takes an Ada fire, Fighter. And then he escapes. And then pretty much the level ends, or I guess. And then the next cutscene shows he's just all scared, doesn't know what to do, doesn't know what to think, doesn't know where to go. Then he receives a message to return to the temple. Uh, however, he's you know he's smart enough to know that he just got attacked by clones that were at the temple. Why would he do that? And then he just decides not to do that. But then you know hours or days later, since he's in space, doesn't know what, where to go. He just gets now now another transmission from Obi Wan Kenobi. And by the way, this this little scenario is kind of similar to Kanan's story in the in his comic line. Uh, but anyways. Uh, he receives a distress from Obi-Wan not to return to the temple, and then, yeah, you get, you know, the, the normal messages that you see in Revenge of the Sith as well as in, uh, Rebels and all of that. Um, but, and then at that point, now he gets another distress signal. Now, this distress, distress signal is different. It is actually coming from the planet Kashyyyk. Now, this is where everything just gets completely, like, out of the blue, out of nowhere for me. Or and for probably for all of you guys as well. So he receives this distress signal, from, distress signal from Kashyyyk. Then he decides, okay, fine, it's a distress signal. I, at least I can do some good there. Uh, but and then also, as he travels there as well, he realizes that Master Yoda and Luminara and Quinlan Voss were also there. So maybe he could find them. Now, obviously, Yoda left. Luminara got captured slash died. Quinlan Voss kind of survived but died, maybe. So, obviously, he obviously doesn't know. Uh, that they're not there anymore. So obviously he just lands in the nearest like forest campsite where the clones and the Empire can't hunt him down. Uh, then he, he just keeps following the signal where to go. And it's just, just this little pathway, this little uh, forest pathway, whatever. It could, or it could be anything. It could be like a log. It could be traveling on a log to another path. It could be just fully forest. It doesn't matter. He can... He keeps following the signal. Then he comes across this little camp, and it's just a small camp, and it turns out that there's a bunch of reprogrammed battle droids, or not reprogrammed, but reactivated battle droids and Trandoshans over there, and let's just, for cool, cool argument's sake, that those droids were painted by the Trandoshans, and those droids happen to be the droids from um, the Star Wars Connect game. I know not everyone loves that game, but I love the concepts in there, like those Trandoshan battle droids and all that. But yeah, Trandoshans battle droids, you know. And they got that. They got a person on a little on that little campfire thingy, a ring thing that uh, Han Solo was on, kind of, you know. And especially in Republic Commando. Now, I kind of spoiled it right there. But the guy on the little. Uh, doohickey thing is actually a clone now obviously not yet we don't know who this clone is yet but he sees the clone he's like okay we had some troops betray us but uh, this guy hasn't done anything he's just sitting there all is, is innocent like i got I, like he doesn't know he gotta help him and yeah no and then he realizes that yeah he's gotta help him so and then it just becomes this little skirmish this jedi he kills the trandos the droids uh, defends the clone. He has to defend the clone at all costs. And then once everything's done, he unwraps him from his like you know capture. And then yeah, they tell each other stories. This Jedi, you know, he came from the temple. Everything's like going going nuts. Like the clones are betraying them. Like the Empire's now forming, and the Republic is gone. And then here he meets this clone. Now this clone is actually RC eleven oh seven. Delta Delta Zev Sev his name Sev <laughs> from Republic Commando. Now and obviously Sev, now that you've rescued him, he can tell his story and he could also explain what happened after the events of Republic Commando. How cool does that sound? Like, come on, like an adventure with a little Jedi and a clone. Like, come on man. Like who who doesn't want that? Anyways. So yeah. Now obviously they get Sev's equipment. His armor and everything. Uh, they head on their way. 
they actually decide to rescue some Wookiees or not. I haven't really decided what plot point to use, but for arguments like, let's just go ahead and say they go ahead and rescue some Wookiees that they want to uh, free so that the Wookiees can be on their way, rebel against these Imperials, and yeah. And then they have to find a ship because obviously their little Ada fighter can't really do much with just two with the two of them. So yeah, they either, you know, they could find any type of ship, like I said, and yeah, they can be, just be on their way and free the Wookiees after or before they get to that ship. And yeah, go on their way exploring the galaxy where they want to do good and all that. So yeah, that's pretty much my little vision of uh, Fallen Order right there. I, lo I love this idea of this fan fiction. It's so like... There's a lot of geeky, geeky, nerdy stuff in here. Like, like just imagine if they did put Sev in Fallen Order in some way. Like, oh man, like that. That's just something that, like, true. Like, a lot of Star Wars fans maybe would be happy, especially if they watched the Clone Wars and also played Republic Commando. Like, Dave Filoni, like, put in, like, the Commandos for a reason. He put in Delta Squad as a cameo for a reason. And they put in Gregor for a reason. So it's just like. And then, obviously, like, them going from uh, the Jedi coming from the temple all the way to Kashyyyk, and then going to whatever planet they're going to next, like, oh man. There's a lot of cool elements that could have been done, or that would be done if this was to come true, like... I feel like I have way too many expectations for this game. But, I mean, the, the truth is, is I, I, you know, well, obviously, I, I want this game to succeed. Like, I'm sure a lot of us do. And obviously, this is made by Respawn, and it's being written, uh, one of the writers is Chris Avalons, who made KOTOR 2. So, I, I think this game will be good in some way. I just hope that there's going to be, like, a lot more into this game, especially when you say it takes place right after Order 66. And, like, see, the thing, let me go back to this as well, in a, uh, like, if you say this game takes place literally right after Order 66, like, literally, like, an hour later, or, like, seconds, or, like, maybe even a month, I don't care, as long as they see clones, clones and venators around, you know, but then you say it's gonna take place five years after, like what? Like what? What the hell? <laughs> like what? Wh where? Where did that come from? Five years after what? We're gonna see stormtroopers and AT-ATs around? Like wh that is not right after Order sixty six. You can't have stormtroopers in a game that says that's right after. And it's just like, you know, we can talk. Obviously, I can talk about all of this stuff in this in the podcast. Like, I I mean, obviously, I can't wait to talk with others about this. And I hope to get another discussion in in the comment section of this video it's just you know i i hope i just hope for a lot about this game it's just this game i i mean i i just want to love it like hell jedi academy like that's my favorite jedi game of all time and unless fallen order can break that monot monopoly whatever of that uh monotony or whatever i don't know how to pronounce that name <laughs> or that uh word but um yeah no like I said, we could talk about all this later in the comment section and that little podcast I really want to start up. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Red Sun. I'll see you guys later. May the force be with you. Hopefully we can get a discussion going down in the comments. Let's be civilized about this, as Obi-Wan Kenobi said. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.